All right, so uh, yeah, as you see on the title here, uh, this is from Kotaku as well. I know I'm covering it, but that's that's Kotaku here. Look, boop. Uh, Sony is removing celebrates unintentional Edward reference. That's what I saw on Twitter today. Uh, originally, I saw this from uh, UGXJG the Don. Uh, because here's well, first of all, this dude to be this guy right here, Lance, to be fucking. That's wild, bro. It's the first thing you want to put. I don't know. This is just weird energy for me, but whatever. That's crazy, bro. Hard R shop instead of Blade, bro. That's wild. That's genuinely fucking wild. Uh, yeah. Now, I get it. This might be a translation error because, you know, it's Korean based and what have you. That's still fucking weird. Yeah, I'm glad that's gonna be, cause the game comes out on Friday, no? Uh, 26. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Now it's already been removed. Like that shit got handled immediately. Matter of fact. Yeah, here he's giving the update. That's how it is now. Uh, so that got handled immediately. Uh, yeah. The word hard and pink. Uh, spray paint appears in graffiti throughout Southern Blade. IG reports that in one location it appears next to a neon sign for our shop where the protagonist Eve meets her handler named Roxanne. Taken together, the text player sees the wall read as hard our shop, a seeming joke about a racial slur. Yeah. The place with the two graphics near each other instead of blood result an intentional object uh, objectionable phrase. Sony told IGN in a statement. Shift Up had no intention of creating offensive artwork and will be replacing the graffiti for day one patch. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, that's not okay, bro. At all. Whoever put that, I don't know if they're going to get fired. Probably will. Again, this might be a translation thing. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to describe, right? Who knows? I think I saw Gene Park saying, like, look. Here, actually, let me pull it up. Give me one sec. I want to... Oh. Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. Here we go. I found it. Um, yeah. I meant to be defensive because Koreans are always falsely accused of saying the N-word because we have two very common words that sound like it. This is not a phrase that exists in Korea. And it was just last year that Linus Tech Tips thought the phrase was ableist. Also, that hard graffiti showing up everywhere in the game and ends up in a very stupid hilarious, but yeah. So, it, you know, it's a bit of... Was this on purpose? Was it not... This reminds me of the Halo Infinite thing, which matter of fact, in case people don't remember, let me pull that up right now, hold up. Um, yeah, here we go. This is off of HuffPost. Let me uh, pull it up right now. Yeah, during Juneteenth, I remember this. A video game developer for Halo Infinite is facing backlash for naming an item meant for to honor Juneteenth after an ape. And here it is. June, this is a Juneteenth uh, call sign, I believe, right? And it's named after a monkey. Yep. That is super intentional. Uh, and I think the guy got fired. And if so, good. Fuck him. They've already chosen a name to this to be freedom just in case anyone sees the tweet. Okay, there you go. Bam. Yeah. I'm going to follow this, actually, because I'm actually still, like, actively involved with Halo. Up. I didn't know this. Hold up, y'all. There's, there's a little bit more I got up there. I'm glad, I'm glad I saw this. Uh... It's not unusual for offensive imagery and references to make their way into finished games. In 2017, Bungie patched out an alt-right symbol derived from Nazi imagery from Destiny 2. 
And in 2018, Nintendo removed an offensive mystery game and watch animation for Super, Mar Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A new spray was also taken out of Overwatch in 2020. What? Oh god. Oh god, bro, what the fuck? Oh, because it was during that whole bu uh, the Bubba Wallace thing. Yeah, 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 I remember. Damn. What was the Nintendo one? Native American animation for Super Smash What? Did they show a photo? Holding a torch and burying its teeth with a feather. Huh? Bill there, now I'm out. <laughs> and, oh, oh, Bill's here with Yoshi. Oh, that's not good. Where is Scott? I mean, huh? <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, weird. But okay. It shows that there's more of this just so happened shit happening. The budget one makes sense, because you know. I don't think I can show that, right? No, never mind. But yeah. Huh. That's some shit. And yeah, I didn't even I the the news thing, I remember the I remember it happening, you know, for in, in, in NASCAR, but I didn't know that there was a thing in Overwatch. Mainly because I don't fucking play Overwatch, but it's still fucking wild, right? Uh, yeah, that's, if it's something like that, where this was, like, an obvious thing, um, yeah, no, nah, that guy or girl, I don't give a shit, uh, gotta go, immediately, um, but if it's just, hey, it just happened to be translated as that, okay, it's hard to give that sly, because it's such a fucking, you know what I mean, it seems very on the nose, but maybe it's not. Who knows? I don't know. It's uh, still really fucking weird that that was the case. Uh, I'm sorry. What does this shit on the, on the side say? This $4 cat toy is worth the, its weight in gold. And behavior say there's a reason. Anyway, let's play some Final Fantasy, huh?